I just want to say first up, I absolutely uh, love the film. I absolutely love it to bits. I've seen it twice now. It's what well, it's my favorite film of the wow. year. Just absolutely wonderful. It's just, it's just oh, wow. so I wait to go to the cinema tonight and see it properly. Just I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Stephen Maxwell Johnson. I'm the director and a producer of uh, the film High Ground. Um, it's a project that's been 20 years in the making and the gentleman next to me, Woody Arnamarik, is a dear, dear friend. We've known each other for most of our lives. Yep. And um, the film very much High Ground is a, a, a story set uh, in 1919 that kind of tracks uh, the idea of the missed opportunity that took place between two cultures back in the day. Uh, it's, it's a manhunt, it's a story um, about identity and finding one's roots finding at the roots, end of the day. Yes. I mean, it's a, it's a journey, it's a manhunt, it's a story of freedom and love and hope. Mm. Um, it was about uh, putting a story out there that helps this nation rethink the Australian story. Um, we're calling it a Northern Northern. And um, we like that idea. And it's um, got this connective tissue all the way through Arnhem Land, east and west. Um, it goes north and south. Yeah. The story itself is a fiction, but so is history. And we decided to create a fiction in order to tell a, a deeper truth, ultimately. Um, the story is inspired by true events and true characters in our, in our history. So it's, uh, you know, the, the narrative and and the, the, the heart of this film is, is based on and inspired by truth. And um, it's taken a very, very long time to uh, consult, to sit and talk and sing and even dance um, all elements and, and thoughts and ideas that flow through the storytelling uh, to make sure that culturally we got the language and representation correct. And... Um, I'll, on that point, I'll let Mr. Marika say a few things about the film and your journey. Yes, my journey um, started uh, on this occasion. It was uh, different, you know, because of the um, people, five lingos, I think. My, my lingo, religion, that's, that is spoken in the, in the movie. And then Japu, and then uh, Kuningu, Kuningu, and there's a um, Gumaichi lady sound effect there about um, um, his Dola as Gumaich, and then Jambarpuingu, five, and what else? English, seven. New York. Yeah, six. All together, this is, this is English, and, and what that is is several different languages are spoken in the film, and then it's it's mm. something mm. makes and unique, you know, it's very unique, mm. and uh, that's what I like uh, in the movie, mm. the rep three a whole other languages that are spoken, and in, 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 in um, mm. it's main map, you know, kind of. Mm. That's how it was back in the history. How it was before. back. Back like in the history, yeah, when uh, East meet West through that the time in critical times of uh, frontiers. Do you want to tell a little bit about the inspirations about the story with the Massacre family? Story? Uh, the Massacre family inspiration was uh, something different, and uh, it was fiction, but in the real story, my father's father, uh, when my father's mother clan, uh, Dolamu, was uh, massacred at a place called Gangan. When I grew up, when I grew up, uh, I heard some stories from my father. My father told me, his brothers told us that they were, they were massacred at um, at Gun Gun, and then two men survived their, their uncle, their uncle, 
Brigitte and what were they survived and ran in into the water and got the same thick uh, uh, the rashes um, too mm -hmm. would they survive on that one the same technology eh? and, we, and Woodyan has often told me about yeah. the blood, eh? And, and 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 that lot uh, happened a lot of around the area, even Grand Gang in Moorangi in South Australia or in um, not South Australia but I uh, went um, uh, Queensland, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, Queensland and Ropa. Yeah, the stories um, that that scene where uh, the little boy hides in the breach of the lily tube. Yeah, the yeah. rush is there. Um, there's a lot of instances where apparently, you know, policemen or, or the cattlemen would ride in with the intent of murder um, and often camps were empty and families and people were hiding in the billabongs, breathing through the lilies. So mm -hmm. um, it was, you know, that happened in other areas as well. And again, you know, uh, an inspiration we we talk for our story mm. and as you heard just heard you know woody anna has a direct association with um his family who were murdered back in history so it's potent it's it's mm. real it's still alive in people's minds there are old people out there who are you know it's it's essentially happened within their time yeah um so the memory still 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 there very alive still sad yeah uh, the film has so much to say about uh, racism and colonialism. Uh, what messages or lessons do you hope that audiences, especially Australian audiences, walk away from this film with? Well, my, um, my aim is to reconcile this movie which, uh, of reconciling and being uh, a unity and to live forward education uh, for the young generation education so they grow up through this story when i was growing up i i heard other stories you know but the back here this is my story now what i've been told by my father and it's i made it i made it in, into the film but it's uh, um education and li living forward and reconcile that we can live uh, two people in unity, harmony, harmony and unity for future. Nicely said, mate. Yeah. And, I, and I think just to follow on from that, which is very, very much, you know, where we're, but where we're coming from here, um, it really is, uh, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, there's missed opportunities still happening in this country. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a disgrace how uh, the Uluru Statement is being pushed aside. I mean, you know, we have an opportunity to embrace the oldest living culture on earth, which essentially is a, a ticket to immense knowledge and connection to the environment and this world that we live in. Um, it's a great shame that we can't celebrate it and uh, participate uh, in it with it, respect it and, mm -hmm. and nurture it and nourish it and take it forward as part of who we are, our true, the true identity of this, this country. And um, there's so much to learn. I mean, I think uh, our education system could do with the whole uh, thing in a much more effective and helpful way. Um, but I cannot, for the life of me, understand mm. why we cannot entertain the idea of treaty, the uh, Indigenous voice enshrined in our constitution. It no. seems to me to be such a missed opportunity, um, such an important part of, of who we are as human beings. Uh, one of my favorite things about the film is just how beautiful it looks with the um, amazing locations in Arnhem Land. Uh, what was your experiences, uh, what were your experiences uh, like filming in um, Arnhem Land? Okay, well, look, it's a, it's a, a, a cradle, a primal cradle of beauty, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it yes. really is. It's um, yeah. a stunning place. Country is a character in the film. Mm -hmm. We were always going for a, a story and a, a film that was immersive. 
um, and the soundtrack and the visuals and the landscape, uh, it was all about creating, creating. that connection. But you, you might want to talk uh, about well, that. Well, those, those uh, important places, uh, especially when up on, um, on the cave, is a very, very sacred, sacred place. And where my grandfather had sat there, and um, Nagi family, the old man, my uncle, is near, near buried there near the cave. It's very, very, uh, very um, chilling and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. very critical. Well, it's again just a beautiful yeah. example of the connections. Connection, like, yeah. You know, so Woody Allen is literally sitting in that yeah, cave yeah. playing the part of the old man, but for mm -hmm. thousands of years, takes, his family takes, have takes actually <laughs> sat in that cave and paid in in that cave and and lived in on that country. Yeah, and, um, that's incredible. That connection is is absolutely amazing. How far? How, how, how fit was it? How high up? How high up? Oh, yeah. about 40 meters, eh? Up, 40 okay. meters. Yeah, pretty high, eh? Yeah. And again, a lot of the places we filmed, we filmed in Arnhem Land, you know, there hasn't been uh, filming happen on country before. Families, uh, you know, right across Vinning, Mangae, Jawin, Yungu, peoples, all of the, the clans, the tribes, the families, the permissions and the respecting and the... Um, the goodwill of wanting to tell this story was quite incredible. I mean, you know, for me, I'm always learning, always listening and mm. um, uh, on a journey. And it was, you know, very, very inspiring. Chris Anastasiades, mm. who's the writer, um, you know, he's been working with me all these many, many years and with, with us on this film. And it was always about, um, you know, making sure we did the work we listened to the stories and we, 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 we created a screenplay that was a reflection of, you know, that being immersed in, in those stories and mm. being inspired by those stories. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, you've sort of already answered this question, but how heavily involved were First Nations people, both um, in the conception of this film uh, and the production of this film? Huh? Mando, all, all the way back about the idea of this story well, and the families talking. And, when uh, Manda, myself, and Jono, we uh, started back in 20 years ago, we were talking about putting everyone from east to west, south, and north, you know, mm -hmm. about this film. We were going to make it bigger um, so that every every nation from the, every corner of the place would come and attend this for, to make this film. Yeah. Well, that, that was our idea and the, um, that he's, um, six years ago, seven years ago, he, he left and then our, our vision was same, that we could make it and we could keep that promise for our men, Mada. Yeah, well, that's a lovely thing. So we, we yeah, as you saw, the, you know, sorry, yeah, right. and then so we made it. Mm -hmm. We made the film to connect everyone back, you know, from from east to north, west, south. Yeah, in this film. So mm -hmm. this is dedicated to um, our men, and, and not even not even right on uh, top of the uh, um, northern part of Australia. But how for how Australia that dedicated this film, you know? Yeah, as you as you can see, there's we there's a dedication to Dr. Mandawoy Dr. Drung Dr. Ping, you know, he adopted me um, uh, when I was younger into the Gumax clan, and obviously that came with a lot of respect and and learning on mm. on my journey. Um, Jack Thompson has championed this film all the way. He's yeah. been a wonderful supporter, uh, very important. Um, obviously, Chris Anastasiati is the writer, uh, Maggie Miles producer. I mean, there's many, many people who have really, really stood by our side during this journey. 
Um, a, a beautiful little thing is, and we, we've done it every step of the way, Woodyana does a Bilma cycle, um, whether it's a meeting to raise money or it's a meeting to communicate a deeper mm. truth about our story and where we're coming from with this. Um, and we'll do that again when we introduce the film tonight. But Woodyana, did you want to talk a little bit about what you sing when you do that because it's been an amazing part of our journey and it's it's created tears it's <coughs> it's created interesting connections and a, 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 connection. a different way of pitching an idea i suppose oh uh, well when that's uh, before we start the filming it was a sunyu from kekadu and right down to uh, mitchell rangers the lies, the great uh, divine, great divine connect all um, cycle of life. You know, Dua and Yirija, Ying and Yang, you might say, or Ying and Yang, or Yirija, Dua and Yirija. That's uh, our. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah our uh, system work. Even um, through the senior, senior of the. Um, uh, um, kangaroo, the vines and ties the whole nation right across from east to west and uh, north south. So that's the very, very important. That I'm saying, I'm saying that song line for the film production and in the movie and for everyone that don't know about the meaning, meaning of them. Two people, a whole lot of people coming into totality and working for hope, justice and peace and better future. You know, and at the, you know, the heart of this film, if you think about it, is the tragic story of the frontier wars of settlement. You know, there's no such thing as settlement, it's conquest, isn't it? Mm. And, um, you know, just to think how, you know, the this was never about creating a film that's polemic on Disney affairs. It was not about politicizing things. It was really about creating a great, powerful, entertaining story, uh, an important story, a story that hopefully resonated with the human heart. Mm. And through that, just opening it up in a way that, um, you know, we can look and perhaps accept and rethink our history in a, in a different way in a way that can only take us all forwards uh, yeah. in a much more respectful and you know, cohesive way, really. Mm. Uh, so the film uh, had its premiere at uh, the Berlin Film Fest uh, earlier this year. Did getting feedback from uh, people from Germany, from a culture that's both very similar and very different to our own, uh, did that alter your perception of the film in any way? Well, it's very interesting, that one, and I'm sure Woody Anna will add to this, but, you know, that's the, we've all gr grown up hearing about the Holocaust mm -hmm. and what happened there. Um, and it was interesting how I had some conversations with people about them going, whoa, you had the same thing happening there with mm -hmm. Indigenous people. You know, it was literally genocide. It was literally a, a campaign of, you know, murder and dispossession that is beyond comprehension actually um you know just the the very work of the queensland native police force for example you know we're talking tens of thousands of kills there i mean um we've had our own holocaust uh, in this country so it was interesting how that was raised in a number of discussions and actually physically been in berlin where you know there is the memorabilia there is the cemetery there mm. is that history and all the photos um it kind of there's a connection in a, in a you know quite a mm. disturbing way and you you know you yourself you want to talk a bit about your experience in Berlin? Well I, I had a surprise and uh, it was something special for me putting I mean showing that um, um, film over there and um, having having a uh, uh, red carpet with something special. That's the first time for me. I made that film, be becoming a star. 
uh, well, all men, all men who knew what um, points and being a smart old man who uh, fighting for uh, my son. Mm -hmm. There was something special and I great, and I, I, I great Mr. Mr. Johnson to choose me and Maggie Miles and Chris and um, Jack Thompson that wanted me to be a part of that. It was, which is, was Mr. Gulbril's, uh, Gulby, Gulbril, David Gulbril. Who we're seeing tonight, which is going to be great. There's he, a beautiful connection there between but, him and you. But he, he, he was he in Adelaide and he was under, under, um, um, he was sick and uh, so he um, passed on that I should take care of his uh, role. So he said, uh, my, I've got a son there uh, through the relation that we connected from where his place is at, uh, uh, where's the place? Mm -hmm. Lemon Guinea. Mm -hmm. And through that uh, alliances that he chose me, uh, my son could uh, get the uh, Role for me because I'm so which I, yeah, it's be I, beautiful actually that yeah. because David was, yeah. um, you know, originally in my lookbooks yeah. and the stories is playing the part that Woody Anna plays. So, um, Woody Anna and David share a very, very special, mm. deep relationship and they have responsibilities for each mm. other through the family. Um, yeah, and um, it's almost like the baton was handed. Mm across because David was, you know, unwell. Um, and just, just um, yes, I mean, all, all of that stuff is quite amazing, really. Yeah. Um, just how we cast the film, we travel right across Arnhem Land. And, and working, working with the, with the top stars, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, Simon uh, Baker. Simon, Simon Baker and the other one. Uh, you know, Simon and Jack and Ryan Corr and Karen Cor Pistorius and, everyone, and Aaron Pedersen. I mean, what a cast. I mean, what, what a, a what a, an ensemble of wonderful actors who were all, all there. committed from the heart to being a part of this. I mean, Simon's a, a very old friend of mine and he just, you know, he brought um, just so much creativity and, and positivity yeah. to the, the, the process. He just immersed himself in the, the country and the, the people and the moment. And um, I believe he, he delivers something you know quite extraordinary mm. and i don't know what you thought of simon's performance but he's you know certainly haven't seen simon baker like that before and he's no. absolutely yeah it's just thrilled with it yeah it's wonderful same with jack wonderful. i mean big jack there on the big screen look you know to work with jack thompson screen living legend and um for, mm. to have his guidance his support you know the other <sighs> actors just to have the godfather there to mm. look up to, to be reassured by, and, and certainly just for me to have that support and, um, you know, that, that kind of rock really in lots of ways was very special, very special. This is um, a really important one for you and Woody Arna can say a little more on this. As you know, there's been, you know, a history in this country and an incredible, history of uh, struggle for land rights and mm. recognition, of indigenous, recognition of indigenous culture. And this gentleman sitting next to me's father mm, yeah. and grandfathers before have led the charge of presenting petitions to the parliament. Land the, rights. The treaty, land rights. And um, so it's kind of like a bit of royalty right here. Yeah. And um, might be nice for you just to talk a little bit about that struggle of for recognition and all that kind of stuff. So there's a well, lovely history to all this. Um, my father had um, he fought for land rights, Roy, Marika, and 13 clans back in the 60s. And uh, by the time we fought uh, uh, for I, but back in then, he used to, he used to, um, uh, uh, um, what's the name, Charles, Charlie Perkins, Perkins Charlie Perkins. He, he was, he joined Charlie Perkins on, uh, on um, uh, the resistant, yeah, the resistance, resistance, yeah, resistance. The resistance. 
uh, been uh, joyride uh, on, on the bus. Was it the Freedom Bus? Freedom yeah, Bus. Yeah, yeah, it was bus. a Freedom Bus, yeah. Uh, they traveled mm -hmm. around uh, Australia and that's how he got that um, uh, fight. So he was involved uh, involved in, in, in the land right then. But you know, these old men, yeah. um, you know, painted the, the stories, the, the stories, histories yeah. of, of this land and, you know, presented it. They don't, you know, they don't write in that way. It was no. written in, in art, in through art. art and song and um, presented. It hangs in Parliament House yeah. to this day. Um, you know, there's the, also the Brunga Statement, the Treaty, there's now the Uluru Statement. There have been, you know, this movement for long, long time of just to try and... Um, recognize, yeah. to recognize, recognize. Mm. nothing, you know. Maybe this is a recognition, help this kick, film. Help the co create, kick the conversation moving yeah. forwards, hopefully, make a contribution yeah. to yeah. it all, you know. There's been some, yeah. you know, a lot of powerful and wonderful films made and we, we, we want to kind of... So we, we're in, in, in packing those uh, gap, you know. Hmm. What had been been told, or what had been they done? So this is a uh, hmm. impact of that. This movie hmm. is the first gender for everyone. Then yeah. again, it's not about trying to create um, a feeling of guilt for anyone. You know, I mean, come on, let's let's uh, just stand up now. Stand and up and be counted, and this hmm. everyone together will. Hmm hope for tomorrow and live on mm. be happy unity one people yeah mm. that was yeah a lot of differences that you know make us make us stronger and 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 um see 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 the future in a different way i mean there's a new the the idea too was to create you know, a heroic character in this film that, um, you know, that is about being proud of, you know, being a warrior, language, st standing strong on country and, you know, making that count. I mean, you know, it's all, um, movies are all full of, <coughs> you know, lots of superheroes, but we've got our own <laughs> mythical superhero here in Gujok, you know, and Old Man Now, this character. I mean, they're really extraordinary people. And, um, you know, in the circumstances back in history, you know, some of these freedom fighters, men like Pemelwoy, Yagan, Jandamara, you know, Mosquito, you, and men and women, um, uh, stood up mm. and fought, fought for their life, yeah. fought for their families, fought for this land, this country, that they do not see themselves disconnected. They're part of it. It's one kind of, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's your stuff, really. But... Um, it just fills my heart with just nothing but wow, really, the wow factor. I mean, it's incredible what what the odds were against these people and how they fought. There was a there was a war. They mm. did fight up fight for this country, and that's you know also something that's not recognised at all. Um, the front frontier war, so to speak. I mean, there's all this stuff in Canberra about you know going off to war and fighting here, and you know. Mm. families you know played their part in that war too but what about the war for this place <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, that's all the questions I have um, do you have anything else that you think might be relevant that you'd like to add mm. Mm. no I think we're uh, pretty good mm. there pretty good, I yeah. think the film look the film we hope speaks for itself as well I mean there's a lot going on in that story and I mean every little bird every insect every little oh, thing yeah. you hear is in the right place yeah. we've made sure that it's it's right all there. you know real in that way and, and visceral and yeah hopefully people enjoy it yeah enjoy it